Our next guest is a self-taught abstract artist who hails from the parish of Manchester and is the founder of Art by Kay. Joining us this morning is abstract artist and entrepreneur, Kadian Gordon. Hey, Kadian. Good morning. Hi, good morning. <laughs> it's, it's interesting that I introduce you as an abstract artist because this is pretty new to you. It is extremely new to me. I literally last year, October, this time was when I started. Yeah. Tell me about how it all began. So I started painting literally out of frustration. I just wanted to find something relaxing to do. And uh, I just went online, got some canvases and some paint and just started painting. But did it you was, it, pardon me? Did you paint at all before even sketches for the fun of it? Um, fill in the, uh, fill in the no. blocks, <laughs> draw by numbers. <laughs> uh, I think the only thing I found a notebook at my mom's house in the country where I found some sketches of fashion designs when I was in high school. Yeah. So I think that's the only history I have of the art world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you, you, you hold a degree in philosophy from the University of the West Indies. So that, yes, that's, I that's do. so not anywhere near what it is that you've been doing. One of the things you've said is that it, it's therapeutic and um, that it's done a lot for your mental health. Tell me how. Because right. sometimes people tell you, you know, it's so good for your mental health. But, but, but realistically, tell me how. Okay, so uh, 2019 was a very bittersweet year for me. It was the year I did my final work and travel overseas. It was the year I got married. And then about two months after I got married, I got a call saying that my husband had gotten a concussion in an accident at work. And his healing process became very frustrating for me. So I literally wow. said to myself, I need to find something that is very relaxing to do that can keep me calm because I can't go to the one person I needed to go to for support. So mm -hmm. I need to support him in this moment. Yeah. So I started painting and persons were like, did you really paint this? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, can I purchase it? And I was like, oh, okay, I think I need to register the business first, but I'll start. So literally, that's how it started, a relaxing and therapeutic way as an escape into the art world. All right. So talk to me about um, the medium. Do you use oil, water, I, canvas? I Walk me through the process. Okay. So at first, art is a learning process. So you literally, you buy certain things and then you work with watercolors, oil paint, acrylics, and you choose what you like. So I really like acrylics. And I learned the hard way that it's best not to mix acrylic with water. And uh, from there, I just started using acrylic paints and uh, studio canvases or gallery canvases and just create. Wow. Um, we're looking at some of the pieces here. Um, and they're so different. I mean, and that's the great thing about abstract, huh? Um, what, right. inspires, what inspires the designs, Katie? And the, mo the mood you're in? Um, do you say, listen, I need to, is there a set time of day that you paint? Walk me through that process. So there's no set time. I remember getting up 4 a.m. in the morning and I felt like painting and I just started painting. I will come home in the evening and I'm like, I need to paint and I will get up any day of the week and paint. But there, the inspiration really comes from the fact that back in high school, I was always told that I'm very organized. I was even voted most organized in my yearbook, I think. And I wanted something that was separate and apart from being organized. And abstract art for me, it is so much more than art. It's not telling a story. Every person who looks at the art can say something different about it. For example, I sent a piece to a client and he said to me, he had a little gathering at his home and the debate was what the piece meant, what it was and what it wasn't. And for me, that was an experience and that's the experience I'm trying to have everyone to, to get when it comes to my art pieces. Yeah, you know, people connect differently based on their experiences and you're right, that's what's so great about it. Uh, so you, you registered a business. Tell me how, yes. how has that been going and what has the reception been like towards the, the, the art? So about a month or two after, persons started asking me to sell the paintings because I was just posting them on Instagram. And 
persons offered to buy them. So I said, you know what, let's go the legal way. And I went and I just registered. Mm -hmm. And ever since, I think, being that it is almost a year in business, December, I sold over 50 pieces. I've gotten an order from the United Kingdom. I've sent pieces to California. I've sent pieces to New York, to Florida. And I'm hoping that it, it's not beginner's luck and the, the orders will keep coming in mm -hmm. for the pieces. Well, let's look back at some of the pieces. All right. So I don't know if you can see on screen what I'm seeing, but right. tell me a little bit about this one. So this one was inspired by the sunset in Africa. I've always wanted to go to Africa. So this is my way of saying, this is my little piece of Africa for now until I get there. So it, it was inspired by the African sunset because, you know, it's very um, bright. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. 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 Boy, Kenyan, you really are super talented. I tell you, sometimes things happen in our lives and we don't know why, but it leads us right to the place that we need to be. Um, this piece? So this piece was from a collection that I named um, Atlantis. So before it was all purple. And it, it reminded me of the, in the movie in Atlantis, when the, the thing was coming out of the water mm -hmm. and persons started relating to it. And then persons asked me if I could do it in um, different colors. Someone requested that I, I do it in earth tones or pink. So I just started from there. Ah, so you do custom work as well? So yes, sometimes persons will message me and ask me if I could do something similar to what I have done before. And I but would try a different to different color. The same. Yes. 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 <laughs> Not the same because every piece is different. Yeah. It's beautiful. And I'm seeing more and more of um, the creative side of Jamaicans coming out during this time. And I really am happy that it is because, you know, in a time like this, you have to find different ways to express yourself. And this is Definitely. so beautiful, Katie. And congrats to you. Where, where, where do you, you see it going? Where do you see it going? I have no idea, but I'm looking into marketing myself more overseas. I actually thought about going to school to actually learn some more techniques. Yes. And uh, even online classes are available. And the art world is so close-knit. You begin to meet authors, other painters overseas, and they will give you advice. I met a... Um, painter who is from Manchester who lectured at um, the university and who lectured at high schools I think and he gave me some advice I'm like this is this is really good nice nice well I know the school of continuing education at Edna Manley will allow you to 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 do whatever you have to do and still be able to learn so check them out um late in June awesome. um we'd be more than happy to have you there congrats congrats um and I look forward Thank to you. seeing just where this is going to take you <laughs> Thank you so much. Katie and Gordon. Now we can look out for Art by K on, on social media, right? Yes, I am on Instagram as Kaytonet Art, K A E T O N E T T E. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, underscore art. You All can right, find so me there. Her. Guys, you know me, you know, always support Jamaican businesses. And if you can support um, Katie and please do so. Katie and Gordon, abstract artist and entrepreneur. Coming up next, we get acquainted with a few sea creatures. Mm -hmm. We'll soon come.